Hello everybody, welcome to the Monday edition of the MCN. We've got lots to cover, lots of things to go over, information, community opinion on matters, you name it, we're going to cover it in this particular video. So one of the first things kicking us off very nicely is uh, talking about the new piece of content dropping today at 1800 hours GMT, um, 10 a.m. PST, whatever PST or peeing and teeing and whatever. Uh, there's going to be the Alliance War Showcase, which is uh, going to be a piece of content with, uh, as it says here, two paths. One emphasizing non-tactic fights. So of course, there's going to be great counters to that. We don't know the enemies on the list, uh, but uh, of course, there's going to be some ones to look at. And one emphasizing tactic fights. Those particular particular tactics are going to be uh, Sugar Pill Defender. Um, you know, that's going to be something to look out for and of course countering that will be a decay um, based champions if you want a list of those go into game quite simply go to your tag section which you can see on screen right now and just go and press which i've just skipped past uh, alliance walls uh, decay i mean you can get an idea of if you just search sturdy you're probably going to see who are going to be the like the the champions you go up against but uh look these are some of the various different types of counter champions to matters so you might be looking at that okay well i need this for this i need that for that and stuff like that it won't be a case of like one size well you hope it's one size fits all but you never really know and you never really can tell like what kabam are planning to put in these particular places so we could put we could press uh where is it? i've just gone back there sugar pill uh, click on sugar pill confirm and find various smorgasbord of these particular champions maybe it's going to be a lot of mystic champions maybe you're going to see the likes of dark hawk thanks kabam if that's the case uh maybe you're going to see red skull and that's going to be really annoying so we don't really know what we're likely to see but of course we'll get um you know an idea there's going to be four fights i think it's very much a case of like easy um done and dusted um so with not too much hassle and i think this is just a nice little kind of um added extra content to add to it look if you're thinking about the about what what is this going to be beneficial for me to grab, this will be about getting your one Planet X atmos Atmosphere King Groot Deathless piece, with the other one coming in the shape or form of probably the Gauntlet, the Winter of World Gauntlet, which is dropping in, I want to say it's about three weeks from now. So that is going to be uh, that you've got to look forward to and of course prepare. It is a two hour limit and of course this drops today. And do be wary that some of the defenders will have masteries applied to them, uh, which will be um, in the shape and form of nodes. Not actually built on the champion because they can't do that, but it will be on the notes but that drops later on today i'm excited to put it in the comments now let's move on to a bit of a testy subject for a lot of people and that is trying to achieve magic heist and getting that rank four to five gem six star four to five gem which is this one right up um right up there this gem is going to be something that a lot of players are coveting to get but a lot of players are missing out on this this is something of a bone of contention which you know kabam aren't really doing too well with the player base when it comes to like how they have dealt with it to some degree they have and we did cover this in a video where kabam have said you know it didn't really um did it work questioning that um yeah and they even say like i think it's right here if we do something like this again in the future i agree we'll need to solve uh, for this as it's definitely not clear to players exactly how the objectives are going to work of course and they did say that they wouldn't be able to make any kind of improvements for players so if you lost out this time which look from from reading through some of these um responses is that um they are unable to get this so you know fox here says here says i just realized that i won't get all the magic high solo rewards because i'm not paragon oh because it's not paragon <sighs> anyway uh yeah so anyway uh i have 30 today did i miss one uh, or two days and i will get uh four to five gem mm. so just confirming missing just one single day this is the one i think i was, I was wanted to read out so you just conf just confirming missing just one single day means i won't get the rank five gem and, and that's the, that's the, the problem isn't it that i think that as much as kabam wanted to see like where the player base is at with loyalty and interest from this if stuff happens out of your control you know you miss out someone in our alliance sadly their um uh their, their mum passed away uh, and it's just a case of it becomes something of a of a back burner uh to it like you, you know you just i'm not saying that's an example but i'm saying is when there's examples not just that but other things where things are out of your control and it's like i can't play the game today 
well, you're punished because you can't access this stuff. Yeah, but you should have been in the game every single day. Well, I can't do that. I would like to be, but there, there's some stuff out of my control. Maybe I've got to drive all night and or drive a certain point, and then it's like, well, we've got to go to sleep in a hotel, whatever. And you go, oh, damn, I missed out the opportunity. And then in the next day, something else happens. So I guess it would have been nice to see some kind of like uh, grace thing. What grace thing would that be? I don't know, some t type of like objective uh, daily that maybe allows you to have four. Because if you miss one singular day, I'm not talking about giving players lots of stuff. But what I'm seeing is like what I'd like to see is a little bit of give and go with it. A little bit of, um, you know, extra, like a couple more, like a couple more objectives, like an extra day's worth just to be that grace day. You know, if Kabam said, hey, I'm going to give you, we'll give you a grace day. I'm sure the player base would be like, well, that's fantastic. I didn't maybe need it. But for those that maybe like the you know, scenarios that I've presented, this gives them something. Or maybe something that you could just like purchase back into the system, maybe maybe money wise, maybe units wise, maybe some other kind of currency. I, I don't know. That's up for, up to Kabam. But as they said that there's improvements they're going to make. I don't know. What's everyone's thoughts on this particular um, subject? Because you know some people that have and feel a bit kind of like meh by this. I played every day. Magic highest daily quest for earning points. Why my points are as low as total days? I don't know what that what what that's kind of like to do with. Um, but yes, uh, as uh, someone says here, it is nice. It's a nice event and good rewards, but it only allows one day, two possibly missed opportunities. So you can't get the top rewards of that four to five gem. Uh, that is uh, a lot of margin for error. It looks like I'm shaping up to thirty nine points on the last day instead of forty for some reason, and that just hurts. So. Look, each to their own with how they feel about this. Is it something that maybe Kabam should look into in the future? Again, maybe. Now let's go on to uh, the Nullifier event update. This kind of like in Bunny Ears compensation uh, type thing. Uh, look, this is probably the th this is the third time I've mentioned it. Of course, I did a video on Friday. I did a video uh, breaking it down in a smaller time frame on Sunday. So hopefully you saw that. Um, and it just went over... All of this, because of course, like on Friday, you know, you would have seen all these solo events drop uh, and and be like, right, well, that's great because I start off at zero. What do I do? And there is obviously a way out of it. We discussed this um, on Sunday. And of course, you know, it, it, it's annoying. It, it's annoying. Uh, you can see on screen right now, this is from in game. So I've done it all. If you followed the video that I put out, uh, then you'll know how to do this and how you do it is to go into the um, the side quest. It's going to maybe the lowest difficulty and just go through the gate, do about two fights, maybe three fights. I would recommend two fights just in case you press exit uh, and then just press exit and kind of like out or restart because you get your flower refunded back to you. And once you get your flower refunded to you, you can then go in and get some more points, farm some points, farm some fights and be able to uh, get through it. But that isn't... A good way to because it's basically any bunny bunny ears time exploiting uh not in a bad way it's the fact that kabam allowed this you know allow, allowed us to get oh great you can have all these fights because we worked out the sums and the calculations and you actually miss out you miss out on getting all of the uh, solo events done all the milestones in the solo events done so if we did not have that then we would have a problem i need to spell that out to you because we would have, and players would not be able to get as far as they did. Um, also, that's a very good point. The Trial of Symbiosis Week 2 did not award any points towards Nullifier. That's, again, a very relevant point, so we need to kind of be very wary um, and mindful of that. Um, but if, as I said, if we did not have the option to do what the exploit is, um then uh, then of course you wouldn't be able to do it um i like the fact here this this uh, always makes me laugh uh it's not impossible it can be done but it's time consuming that, again that's, the, that's the, that that's the that's the point but what's funny is dr zoda says time is an irrelevant resource in game <laughs> uh for those that know they know um that always tickles my fancy remember don't invest time in this game because time is a relevant resource to be kind of like, um, uh, it's so funny. I, 
I, I, so many things where I wish, I really wish Caban Mike would just kind of go, mm, shouldn't have said that because that's not a good idea saying that. Um, it, it's yeah. Anyway, yeah, and it, it can be done. It's definitely, it's definitely doable. It's definitely doable. Following the process, as I said. Um, but yeah, good luck to everybody doing it. Um, I will just quickly for this video, if you haven't seen any of my other videos on this, just a quick reminder of how it's done. You go into the side quest, you go into any difficulty, maybe a lower difficulty, for example. And then what you'll be doing is like putting in a single champion like that. You just squint quite simply uh, going in. Uh, as you can see there, I've got one Krakoan flower available to me. We're going to go through the gate like there. Uh, we'll, we then do theoretically a fight. And then once at that particular point, it's like, okay, well, after I've done that fight or the other fight, the reason I say do two fights rather than three is that you might accidentally click to exit. And uh, look, once you do that, you lose your flower and that's not great. Um, but uh, what you can do then is is um is x by the way if you if you're just looking to get boosts then you could do lower difficulties now if you have done all of the uh, objectives out of that but at that point you can see uh, as soon as we restart say we've done two fights great done two fights just imagine that and then we got the flower back you can see there right at the top the flower has returned so that is the way that we go and farm uh some of the uh, the lower and uh yeah uh where is it nullify that yeah you see that all well, nullify is done all the different progressions are done as well. But in any case, uh, we need to move on to arena results. Good luck in the grind for you. Okay, now let's look over some arena results uh, for Longshot and for Serpent. So, uh, Longshot, 15 mil, got position 218 or 14.9 mil. Uh, so a low cutoff for that one, which is to be expected. Uh, still a good champion though, still a good champion. 9 mil for the 5 star, a little bit lower. Serpent, we got a lot of data on, so thanks to everybody that submitted data for this. 152 mil, got position 97, and then right down the bottom, 390, 395, uh, 128, 127 mil, right about there. There's this real kind of like 10 to 20 mil sweet spot between position 154 and 127. And what I mean by that is that 20 mil is basically the difference between a large chunk of the uh, uh, the places. So it's an interesting one, just like a few mil, and it separates out from, well, what is a higher end of uh, of the position to a lower end on that particular uh, number. Because you can see they're up to 261, even there, like 180. So, look, this is going to be tight, I think, for your predictions for round two. And the predictions that I'm going with is as follows. Uh, so, for a six dust, a six dust serpent is not that. Um, I've got it around the wrong way, which is it's meant to be long shot, a lot lower. It's meant to be three, 138 there, and then 14 mil there. So, sorry. Uh, but yeah, that's what I mean. Six dust serpent, 138 mil position. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling that that's going to be, yeah, around about that uh, 200, late 200s, early 300s. You may be safe with 130. But look, you're playing a dangerous game with how people might kind of go for this in round two. For the five star, I've got this all, all, all the round the wrong way. The five star serpent, I'm going with 35 mil. And then for long shot, 14 mil. And then the five star version of long shot, 8 mil. So good luck in the round two. Um, that's that's it there. That's it down there. Not what I first put up on, on there. I had to edit it as I go. But yeah, thanks very much for watching this edition of the MCN. I've uh, got a few other videos, including Alliance Wars Showcase video, dropping later on today. Once the content's out, and we can take some champions against it. Check out some other content located on screen. Good luck to you, and I'll see you all soon. Much love and goodbye.